All right, what is up, everybody, and welcome back to another video of Pokemon Quest. Um, I'm gonna make this video just to end it out, just to um, pretty much end the gameplay of Quest. Uh, I already beat the game last time. Um, I believe I was um, around here, in the last video, but I did beat it. I beat Mewtwo. Uh, right now, uh, basically what I was just doing right now is just going around, just unlocking Pokemon, trying to evolve them. Um, you also do, um, also too, just a heads up, this, this is going to be spoilers, so I'm going to show you all the, um, all the raid bosses, and then I'm <clears throat> going to, um, show you some issues that I'm having, if I'm able to show it to you on here. Um, but if I was to rate this as... On a scale from 1 to 10 of you getting the game um, I, to get the game I would say I would say a 6 or a 7 just to get it now to keep playing it I would 3 maybe a 4 um, I would not spend any money on this at all so um, there is a option inside the game where you can purchase, um, uh, like additives to your base camp, and it boosts your um, rate of catching Pokemon, getting double Pokemon, all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, I suggest don't don't spend any money, like at all, period, on this game. Um, I mean, you can if you want, like this all right here, this. It's about 30 bucks like the gameplay on this is not <laughs> it's not worth that much money you can save up and at least get a different game um, but yeah literally right now it's just trying to evolve Pokemon just to get the decks up and you can get shinies in here so right there that little star that you see right here in the bottom right uh, lets you know it's a shiny so I got a shiny coughing and a shiny Machop so um, but for the most part, it's, it's really easy. Um, I wasn't really hitting for the bonus that it was requesting for me to hit. Um, I was literally, I'm literally just using onyxes the whole time. These two onyxes right here, literally just using them the whole time. And then I'll have my random, uh, Pokemon to help back me up, which was Slowbro and Lickitung. Those were the ones I was using most of. So, um, let's go and I'll show you all the raid bosses. So then, you'll know what's up. And, I don't even think I even need to touch anything. So I'll just explain it while, while it goes. See if I can get the issue. Alright, so now, you see how the Pokemon are fighting, right? Um, when you run away, They'll split up, and these are the issues that I'm having. So they'll split up. If if one Pokemon is fighting somebody off the screen on top, and you have your other Pokemon fighting the screen on the bottom, if you run away, um, it'll just stay hidden, and you cannot bring the Pokemon back here. So you'll literally just have a blank screen while your Pokemon are fighting off on screen, and you have no idea what's happening. You can't see their HP bar from here. So if they're fighting off screen, you would have no idea that they were about to die. Only thing you would be able to know if they died was that they showed a Pokeball in the middle. So that was like the biggest issue that I'm having uh, with this game is the running from Pokemon. Um, the other issue is running itself. Sometimes you hit run and it won't do anything, uh, which is very annoying. Holy crap, that was easy. I wasn't expecting it to be that easy. Alright. So. And also, too, um, 
that depending on what level you do for the battling, um, you'll get that type of um, stone. So you want to do as max as you possibly can. So you want to have at least like a good, um, good sturdy stones to help you. Okay, so that was the first one. We saw Eradicate as the boss. We'll go to the next one. Go Gloomy Grove, stage two. So this one is uh, Butterfree. So stage two, Blooming Grove is Butterfree. Going on stage three. Actually, you know what? Let's go check what we got from the pot. So. HP. All right. So, stage three, back four. So we have Radicate for the first one. We have Butterfree for the second, and then this we one. have is Polyrad. <laughs> Less time, okay, it's not bad. All right, on to the next one. This will be the fourth one. And then the fourth one is Machamp. Um, this one is actually kind of hard. Uh, when I first started off um, in the beginning, he'll do uh, when you see his white moves on the bottom of the screen right there, when it shows the white. Um, he actually has a pretty good strong attack. And basically, you want to have stuff that has double attack. So you want it to keep going and attacking. Golem is the fifth one. Bug. Sixth one. Okay, so we'll recap one through five. Um, we had uh, Radicate, Butterfree, which Butterfree is technically a bug, so I don't understand what's right um, Polyrath, Machamp. And the fifth one was gold. Now for the bug part, um, I believe this is um, Scyther, but I also had a uh, 
another one, um, Pincer, um, as the boss too. So I think um, this one has two two bosses types that you can battle. But again, they revolve around Bug. Again, I don't understand why Butterfree wasn't in this one too, because Butterfree is technically a bug. But their choice. All right. And we have Kadabra for the sixth one. I'm sorry. Alakazam. My bad, my bad. Recover, buddy. So, just a heads up too. He also has the ability to recover. So, if uh, you're battling him and you're low attack points, you might want to, yeah, get ready for that. Number seven, we got. Right. So this one is Scyther. Okay. So Scyther, and then I think if you jump back in, it could be Pincer too as well. So basically two bosses, but for the most part, very easy. And after we get done with all the bosses that I show you, um, all the way up to the last boss or the last last Pokemon I guess in the game. Um, I'll show you what to have in your inventory stuff. So nice. We got a shiny coughing evolving. Okay. Boom. Shiny wheezing. Cool. Go back to base camp. we got out of here okay it's not that bad a lot of HP that's way better than the other ones roll out you can get rid of tackle okay that's not that bad that's a lot of HP oh we got a we got a wild zoo bet all right Lots of fighting, no health. So this thing is garbage. Look at this. No health, no nothing. But it's... It's a dex entry. Go to the next one. Let's see how Voltorb does. Next one is Needle Queen and Needle King. These are very easy to beat, um, especially if you have Brock. Man, so easy. Destroys. But they are an issue though. Don't get it wrong when you, if you are lower health and don't have the right stuff. So. And you can beat all these um, uh, Pokemon without having the the weakness for them. It just takes it takes a while. You just gotta beef up your guys. was Needle Queen and Needle King for number eight. Cool. Uh, 
Um, when you start out the game too, um, you have a choice of choosing. I say choose Eevee, to be honest with you. I think it would be easier that way. So, number nine, Psychic. Now, just to uh, remind you that each level does have a boss. So, each uh, part of the level has a boss. These are the main bosses for the realm that I am showing you. So, just a heads up. Gengar is the next one. Ha ha ha. Love Gengar. Little technical difficulties the first time. Take him out, bring Slowbro in. That's literally pretty much what I used the whole time, the Slowbro and the Onyxes. Alright, next one, Electric. Now, this one, um... One of them I think was really hard, but I don't think it was the actual boss. No, I think it was this one. Um, the Dotrios. I think this was, to me, like the hardest one. Out of all of them. We have Gyarados for the next one. So it wasn't the Dotrio brothers. I think one of them was Dotrio. I think it, was in, it wasn't even actual main, main boss. I think uh, it was actually inside the those main level parts. See, that's what I hate about this. Like the running on the running away on here sucks so bad.
What? That is all of them. And then the next main one is will be 11, which is you are at the last part. There are no places left to explore in the Chamber of Legends. Okay, well, it won't let me show you the main last part. Oh, this one's Mewtwo. I was hoping to be able to show it to you. Uh, so I'm only gonna be able to post a picture up right here. So as you see, that's it's Mewtwo and uh, once you beat him, um, basically it just you just go back to like the little island part, and then you have the little drone guy um, like tweaking out or hurting, and then it basically like, resets itself and fixes itself, and then it pops up this island right here, and then this is what you'll um, battle right here. So you'll have your after you get all this done, um, no, let's go to it. Let's check it out. Um, uh, I think you get the Articunos. Let's go to it. We'll get literally get destroyed. I mean, even Caterpie is in here and it does so much damage. It's insane. But for the most part, man, that's it. I mean, this is not really a. Um, game I gotta go play it's just it's a game that's there it's basically how to subscribe describe it a game that's there see how that running away is right there sucks so bad and look at that dead so yeah pretty much it for the bosses I mean simple uh, for the most part, yeah, it's kind of gets kind of tedious after a while. You will have to do like Pokemon style, go in, um, battle the boss, level up, level up, level up. Hopefully, um, get a, something from the base camp for your cooking pot and get the Pokemon that you need. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, it came out, came out on mobile. This is a mobile game, in my opinion. Um, just go over the quick quick stuff that I added to my my team to show you uh, the charms to show you basically how you want to have it set out so basically you want to have at least the doubles uh, right here because it's really good the double attack is like the um, best thing to me to have on anything so you want to have the whack whack stone uh, you can have this too the spread out which is pretty decent um, Scatter shot is okay as well. Uh, the less time, uh, it's kind of useless. I just put it on there just to just to have it. Um, obviously, you want to have your stones that has abilities to them. So basically, how this shows critical hit damage, resistance to effects, and critical hit rate. Um, I try to have natural healing, so when I'm moving, I heal. Hit healing is insanely good. So every time you do damage, you're um, you heal and you heal. You go back up real quick. So I suggest try to find stuff that has hit healing. The best thing to have, in my opinion. Uh, healing from KO, it's not. It's okay. But once you have hit healing, healing from KO shouldn't even matter. Um, movement speeds okay too as well. Critical hit rates okay. HP upon recovery is okay as well. But to me. Personally, um, hit healing is literally the best thing to have, and natural healing. So, hit healing and natural healing is like number one thing to me to have. Um, for Onyx attack, Rock Throw is insanely good. So I suggest try to get Rock Throw on your Pokemon. This is all I've used was just Onyx, and I killed everybody with uh, Rock Throw. And then you want to have your other Onyx, which I have. Um, he is. Uh, Rock Tomb as well is really good. Um, you want to have, um, again, 
wax stone on it. So this one does it four times, which is awesome. And the timing of it. I kind of want to see if I can put a different stone. So no, it has to be that. Okay. So yeah, Rock Tomb and Rock Throw is what you have at Onyx, and those two Pokemon are literally the main ones I've got this. Whole Yeah, so remember hit healing, natural healing, um, choose a Pokemon that has uh, good damage when it does their abilities, and whack stone. And that's pretty much it. Like, that's literally pretty much it. Um, and just have your oddball, the one that does the, the decent damage. But for the most part, you know, like I've been saying, it's okay game. Not really... A game that I need a fiend to uh, play. So, very simple. But, I uh, hope I, I didn't ruin too much spoils. Uh, I just want to get this out so I can close it out and not have to worry about this game anymore. Um, but that's it. And then you have your legendaries right here. And obviously, um, you don't get Mewtwo when you beat it, by the way. So, sucks. Just a heads up. So, alright guys, so I'm out. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, sorry about the spoilers, but I figured this will help people if they have any issues. Um, again, you're going to have to grind once you get to a point where you're unable to advance. So you're going to have to do like old school Pokemon. Have your main attackers and then have one of your little ones and then beat it up, evolve it up, and all that stuff. So, yeah. Uh, I'm out guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys later. Peace.